Do you need a steamer for interior detailing? Way back when, in 2013, I started off with the McCulloch 1385. That's not the same one from 2013. But over the years, I think I went through two or three McCulloch 1385. They're like $200, I believe. And for what I was using it, it was fantastic. Like, I, I used it every single detail because it was... It got a lot of work done for me, whether it was cleaning out some plastics or helping me get something out of the carpet material or maybe even uh, agitating and shampooing fabric material. I use the steamer a lot. At this time, we are using the Aqua Pro steamer. Uh, I think we've had it now for like three years. It's a fantastic steamer. We use it when needed. There's a customer here right now. But given how we do interiors now, we have greatly decreased our steamer usage. By the way, I wrote an ebook called The Ultimate Guide to Start Your Detailing Business. It has over 10,000 words of pure content in that guide to help you start and grow your business. You can click the link down in the description box and download it for free. It took me a while to write it, so actually download it, read it, and implement it, and then go get results. Now, as your business evolves and grows, you're gonna switch up how you do things. So like, in 2014, 2015, I heavily relied on the either the McCulloch 1385 or eventually the Aqua Pro Steamer, and I used the Aqua Pro Extractor. Like, that was my go-to combo for interior detailing. Any interior job, it would be those two machines. But now we don't use the steamer as much. Like on this truck here, which was stolen and the interior was really bad, and we did an ozone treatment, we didn't use the steamer at all on this one. And even on this interior that we're gonna work on right now, we won't use the steamer that much. So now where we are with what we do, we use the steamer for more specific items or, or, or things we have to clean, like let's say there's some very gooey gunk on a plastic cup holder or something where like it, we specifically need it for that one job. But aside from that, we're primarily using our cleaning gun, running it off an of air compressor. And it is important to note that your process will change over time. Like if I had the same vehicle five years ago, I would probably be using the steamer right now instead of the cordless drill. But right now, because we are where we are now, we'll use a cordless drill to agitate this rubber surface and then literally just wipe it down with a towel. And same thing goes with this door panel where back then I'd probably use the steamer to get into the tight areas or to get into the cup holders because that's just what I did. But now I just use an all-purpose cleaner diluted 10 to one, multiple brushes or multiple uh, uh, scrub pads. And then I'll use the uh, the cleaning gun to blow everything out and it gets everything off. Again, we use the steamer when needed. If there's some gunk that doesn't come off with, the, with APC, we will get the steamer. But even then, there are times where there might be some very dried on crud on the fabric material. And we'll just use like a bone scraper to remove all that crud without the steamer. So back then, I would shampoo an entire interior with just a steamer, like no extractor, I would just use a steamer. But now because we have the hot water extractor, I don't need to go through that process or, or we don't need to go through that process. So your process will change over time. If right now it makes sense for you to use a steamer, use a steamer. If right now it makes sense to just have a little Vizzo Pro Heat shampooer machine, use that. So don't think what I'm saying is like, oh, well, he said not to use it, so don't use it, no use it when it makes sense based on where you are with your business. So for the most part, this cleaning gun does a lot of the heavy lifting for us when it comes to blowing out the interior, getting the liquid or the dirt out of the, the tight areas on door panels or the center console. It helps us blow out the debris from the mats. We can clean out pads with this. So this is a very versatile tool that has really replaced the steamer in most cases. So maybe like two years ago, when we'd get an interior job, we would always default turn on the steamer because we knew we were gonna use it. Over time, little by little, we're like, ah, don't, you know, we don't need the steamer, we just get the air compressor. Or hey, I think we could get the, the that whatever it is with just the, the cleaning gun and not the steamer. And then now, by default, we don't turn it on. If, if we look at the interior and we're like, oh yeah, we'll need the steamer for that part, turn it on. We'll go turn it on. But aside from that, the cleaning gun can get a lot of the gunk and nastiness and get the job done equally what the steamer will do, but without the steamer. 
Now this is based on our business. We have a hot water extractor. So when it comes to shampooing, we don't use the steamer anyway. We, have, we completely rely on our HP 60 Spider to get the job done. So for us and what we do, not using the steamer doesn't affect us because we have the cleaning gun on the big air compressor and we have the extractor, that's a hot water extractor, to do the shampooing. So for us in our situation, we don't need the steamer as much. We still use it, it's still a great tool. We just don't need it at this current time. Now it sounds like I'm really hyping up the cleaning gun, but it still comes with its own problems, especially if you are mobile. For instance, for us, we have that dual tank rigid compressor which is fine for mobile setting, but if you use two hoses on it, it's gonna keep on turning on. The same thing applies if you have that Craftsman pancake compressor and it's just you using it, it's going to continually turn on and you're not gonna have as much steady power. So maybe in that instance, in that situation, using a steamer would be better. It just really depends, but I'm not saying one is really better than the other. It really just comes down to what you have, your situation, and the tools and products you have available. So for you, you might only have a steamer and that's absolutely fine. Like if you don't have a compressor and a cleaning gun, well then yeah, heavily rely on the steamer. But if you are in the position where you have all three or four of them, maybe you can play around with your process and how you do things to where maybe you're able to cut out one tool. Because again, like, it's not that you need all the tools to get the job done, right? Like if you know how to use the specific tools, you can do more with less, which, you know, either you don't, bring things out as much on the mobile job, whether you don't have to buy as many things, whether you don't, you don't have to carry as many things. So just because you have all the tools doesn't mean like you have to use each and every single one, right? Like you use the tool based on what you need it to do. The reason why I'm here in the office is because they're, they're working back there and it's super loud and you can't talk on video when it's like that. So let me know in the comment section down below, do you so heavily depend on the steamer? Do you not use the steamer? Do you use the cleaning gun? Do you use it in all combinations? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want, check the, the description for some of the links to the tools I mentioned here. But I'll talk to you guys on the next one.